name is Odysseus. We drank the nights away! I chose the Odyssey because it really felt like a play for today. 2014 is the centenary of the First World War, and so a story that's about a soldier's return home from a long war and the effect on both his mind and on his family seemed like a really perfect show to give to our audiences. Where shall we start? Start where you like. Then start from here. Although it's ancient, it's like The Wire or The Sopranos of its day. It's a great story that was probably told while everybody uh, was sitting around the fire in, on some ancient Greek island. One of the great things about playing Odysseus is we get to follow this man's journey. From the heights of feeling almost like a demigod to you know, sort of pits of despair when he loses his men. Um, and the idea that we're trying to go for is that it's a bit of a modern take on it as well. And how we've done the Cyclops, I think, is quite clever. <laughs> it's real epic, exciting theatre, which I think makes it really great for your traditional theatre audience, but also for if, you know, if you've got older children and you want to take them to the theatre and excite them with a great tale. <laughs> Mike has taken the basics of Homer's Odyssey, okay, the essence, I guess I should say, and he's created something that's simpler and easier for us to actually access as modern actors. You got us into this, now I will get us out. Oh yeah? And how are you gonna do that? Out is through that blocked door. How do we push aside that rock? If he dies, we start there, in here, slowly. Then, think. I'm thinking. Odysseus and Penelope get back together again and make peace, and it's not an easy moment. It uh, gets me every time I get a lump in my throat. The audiences can expect everything that they imagine, so cyclopses and sea monsters, but also it's got a real emotional punch because ultimately it's a story about a soldier and his wife and how they put their life back together.